Welcome to iWire, a game to map the brain. This is a neuron. It's one of many cells that are found in the retina at the back of the eye. Cells like this process visual information, so things that an animal sees. They encode elements of movement, so say what direction something is going, etc. And they send pre-processed information deep into the brain through their axons, which are the optic nerve. The branches that you see here are called dendrites. They extend long distances and receive signals from axons of other cells. These little blobby things here are called boutons, and those are synapses. That's where cells connect, and they receive and can relay information. If you look closely, the boutons have interesting little finger-like projections where they actually wrap around the axons of other cells. And this large thing here is called the soma. That's the cell body where the neuron's nucleus is and its DNA is stored. All of these little white 3D things are people like you playing from around the world, contributing to the reconstructions of neurons like these. Let's check it out. So what you see here is a tiny branch of one neuron. The blue thing has been semi-automatically reconstructed and we're trying to find the continuation. On the right, you see electron microscopy images. The outlines of cells have been stained dark gray, and the eye wirers are challenged to color inside the lines. When they color in 2D, it adds 3D segments that have been generated by artificial intelligence. Once they've mapped a section of neuron across the cube, they can hit submit. It compares their reconstruction with that of other accurate players, and then we can go onward to the next cube. This little cube just has a tiny bit of dendrite that's grown through it. So we can give it a quick spot look and then hit submit and move on to the next. Eyewire works by extending branches from one side of the cube to the next. And if the majority of accurate players trace the branch to exit the cube at the same point, then the system will spawn a new cube directly adjacent to the first. So cube by cube by cube, we are able to reconstruct all of the dendrites of individual neurons. To date, eyewirers have reconstructed many thousands of neurons. They have discovered new types of cells and even discovered new circuits that process visual information. Here's another example cube. The branch twists and turns. Sometimes they fork and sometimes they end. This one actually has a bouton within it. As you scroll through, you are challenged to find all of the missing pieces. They can be small little blocks that look like puzzles to fit in place, or they can even be the finger-like projections of the boutons that we saw earlier in the video. Every piece is important because we can use machine learning to automatically identify all of the synaptic partners of neurons and thus analyze the connectivity, which we call the connectome of neurons. This is a little demonstration of magic mode in iWire, where you can preview a mesh by just hovering over a section of neuron and you can see the uh, directly adjacent 3D section. It's also an interesting way to see some of the pieces of neurons that are wrapping around and surrounding this dense volume of tissue. When a player thinks they have completed a cube, again, you just hit the submit button and it compares your trace. If you're ever uncertain, you can always go to Activity Tracker up in the top right next to your profile. If you click on any of those bars, it will allow you to return to any cube that you've been working on that you've submitted, and you can compare your trace to that of others. So you can see in yellow here, a few things were missed in this one. iWire is a community effort. Hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world have signed up and actively contribute to this crowdsourcing endeavor. It would not be possible without citizen scientists from around the world. And it's amazing to see the efforts of gamers contribute in a meaningful way to real neuroscience research. Now we'll return to overview and just look a little bit of the work that the iWire community has put in. We'll go cube by cube by cube 
all the way back to the neuron soma. iWire can always use help from anyone around the world, no matter your age, your background, or your profession. We hope that you'll join us by visiting iWire.org and playing this 3D puzzle game for science. at midnight in November for five minutes, the ads in Times Square switch off and science switches on. The images are the work of filmmaker Noah Hutton, who is an avid iWire player. It's a crowdsourcing game, meaning anyone with a computer and an internet connection can play. But while you play, you're actually helping scientists map the brain. Some of the images Noah is showing here are taken from the game itself. It's important right now to be, to be open with your data, and that's what iWire is doing is they're publishing data and they're allowing you to actually interact with it. I wanted to do something similar here in Times Square where I take the visuals from the leading labs around the world and I, may, I put them in an open space to, to be presented with them not being sold on anything but just to see them, to, to react to them. iWire is the creation of the MIT Brain Research Institute in Boston. Amy Robinson is the creative director of the iWire lab. The team hang out online with some 160,000 players from 145 countries around the world. It takes 50 hours for a single person to map one cell, and there are 85 billion in a human brain. It would take a huge amount of staff and time to get the job done. But if you make a 3D puzzle game out of it and you have hundreds of thousands of people playing it online, you can collect all the data in a relatively short time. And you need just a few administrators putting the final data together. Who is this that looks like neurons in here? If you do this enough, you eventually you sort of learn what a neuron looks like, what things are real, what things are not real, like what, uh, you sort of get a sort of like a, a gestalt for like what it looks like. Crowdsourcing in science is arguably a paradigm shift in the scientific method as a whole. You know, no longer do you have to have a PhD in neuroscience to contribute to major neuroscience discoveries. Now really all you need is a computer and an internet connection and an interest in gaming. The more people play, the sooner the team can map the neurons in our eye. That's why iWire is now developing from a puzzle to an even more fun game with characters and music to relax players who can play up to 35 hours in a row. Music will really help players to get more and more immersed into the experience. So it'll help make playing the game like more pleasant and more enjoyable. And I think it'll lead to players keeping engaged with the game like a lot longer. iWire proves that science can be fun. And by connecting online, players are not just enjoying themselves, but they're also contributing to a scientific discovery, helping MIT scientists to understand how the brain sees movement.